important uh, cases uh, that you have been tracking the apex court in its review of the judgment on the prevention of money laundering act has also determined that some aspects of the judgment may need to be revisited tell us more about this particular aspect well, Justice Kanvilkar led bench of the Supreme Court had come out with its judgment on PMLA, whereby various provisions of the PMLA, which give uh, sweeping powers to the Enforcement Directorate, were in fact upheld. Justice Kanvilkar, in fact, was uh, subjected to heavy criticism. And then finally, we saw a review petition being filed uh, in the Supreme Court. What's interesting is that the Supreme Court, uh, the CGI-led bench of the Supreme Court, very clearly held that prima facie, there are anomalies with that judgment. Prima facie, there are some aspects uh, that the Supreme Court, that the CGI-led bench is not comfortable with. And prima facie, the Supreme Court has expressed its intent to go ahead and to reconsider some of these aspects. Uh, the center, of course, came out all guns blazing, said that this is uh, tantamount to appealing a Supreme Court order uh, in, under the garb of a review. Uh, the center also said that there are international covenants that India needs to respect by way of uh, the PMLA provisions, and diluting those provisions will mean that India would be in breach of those covenants. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the Supreme Court taking a very stern view that there are two particular aspects of Supreme Court red flag. Number one, is non-providing, non-provision of the ECIR. In some cases, uh, the ED is not bound to uh, make the copy of the ECIR available to the accused. This is the first thing that the Apex Court has taken objection to prima facie. The second is uh, the burden of proof. Normally, under normal criminal procedure, it, the burden of the proof lies on the state. The state has to prove that the accused person is in fact guilty. It is the other way around as far as the PMLA is concerned, where the burden of proof is on the accused. The accused is the one responsible for proving his innocence. This is a, a departure from criminal provisions here in the country, and that is the second aspect uh, that the Apex Court, in fact, has taken objection to prima facie and said that there is definitely room for a review. And on that note, a notice has been issued. The centre has been asked to come back with its reply on these initial prima facie observations made by the top court. Back to you. Right, Ashmit, thanks a lot, but I'm going to ask you to stay on for now the court saying that there are some aspects of the PMLA or the Prevention of Money Laundering Act that do need to be reconsidered. But with that, let's move on and bring you another update from the courts. The Supreme Court has also 